Halo sobat Pesmania, jumpa lagi dengan saya di channel DK4 Official. Oke, pada semifinal lalu Prabu melawan Han dimenangkan Han sedangkan Delpin melawan Ketusu dimenangkan Delpin sehingga Han dan Delpin mampu lolos pada babak final. Oke, untuk pertandingan kali ini masih di babak final namun untuk perebutan juara 34 yaitu ada Prabu melawan Gatusu. Di mana Gatusu adalah pemain yang di BL hanya diperbolehkan untuk menggunakan klub bintang 4 setengah saja sedangkan Prabu dia bebas menggunakan apa saja. Di sini dia menggunakan klub PSG sedangkan Gatusu menggunakan klub bintang 4 setengah yaitu Aston Villa. Oke, kita simak formasi apa yang mereka gunakan. Untuk Prabu, dia menggunakan formasi 433 dengan tiga orang penyerang di depan dengan uh, penyerang andalannya yaitu Bape. Sedangkan untuk Gatuso Aston Villa sama juga menggunakan formasi 433. Uh, namun di sini uh, Prabu mendapatkan keuntungan menggunakan klub bintang 5 yang semua pemainnya memiliki ability cukup bagus sedangkan Gatuso dia karena pro player tapi tetap uh, OP meskipun menggunakan bintang 4 tengah siapakah yang akan menjadi juara 3 simak pertandingan ini baik-baik sampai dengan selesai jangan lupa subscribe, like, komen, dan share dan selamat menikmati Prabu versus Gatuso Looking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome, one and all. The teams then, Paris Saint-Germain against Aston Villa. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Begley. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. As you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, Nicolo Zaniolo is an unconventional winger in that he certainly doesn't look like one. He's usually instructed to come inside, often exchanging positions with a with a central playmaker. I mean, his main role will still be to run with the ball. Header! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Aston Villa ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. And it's Dembele. Mbappe. And he showed him a clean pair of heels. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Bailey. Zaniolo. Tries to dink it in. Can he put it away? What about it? Bailey. With the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily... Is it in? Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Repelled by the keeper. Diaby. Zanio going for goal! Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks like a good ball through. Big chance! Goal! Villa! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's a simple game. Has a pop! A great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Marquinhos boots it to safety.
Cash. It was on the back foot. Mbappe. Over to the left. Going through. He's got away. He's had a go! Tielemans goes looking. Zaniolo looks to thread it through. Whistle's gone. That for offside? Yes, it is. Oh, it would have been fabulous had the timing matched the pass. Pity. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Dembele. Now it's Mbappe. Mbappe! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Asensio positions himself well and cuts it out. He's left his man. Lovely bit of skill. It's a loose ball. Marquinhos passes it through. A real chance to break. Asensio. Zaniolo. Watkins. Hernandez battles to win it back. Mbappe. Trout calling for him to shoot. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Mendes plays it out to the wing. Played it again. Towering header! And a second time! And the whistle goes for half time. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. And we are up to the break. Oh, what a half. It's, it's been pulsating and totally absorbing. We're actually headed for a, a potential classic if this carries on. This is insanely good. So we're just settling back into this second half. Paris Saint-Germain don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back, though. Zaniolo. Now can he finish? Forward it goes. Chance to shoot. He'll have a dip. It's there. Two to the good. They have breathing space. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Aston Villa, two up and into a position of real strength. Look, it's a whole different ball game now, Peter, and it's a test of how they manage affairs from here. Bailey. Now it's Diaby. Tries a through ball. Nino Pereira. We can assume that they've been instructed by the boss to, to stay in attack. They're just looking to break, aren't they? Yeah, the key now is just to get the ball to them as soon as possible. Mbappe with a long pass out wide. Como looking to get on the end of this. one straight back Both sides a bit too casual in possession Diaby now it's Watkins and it's Dembele Asensio now it's Dembele 
Bailey. One shell pass, that's the message there. Watkins. Zaniolo. Asensio. It's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, they've got to be careful. Oh, it's a mistimed tackle, and it is a penalty. Paris Saint-Germain has been awarded a penalty. The ball is on the spot. Here we go. And that's one back. That's as calm as you like. Well, that was a big pressure kick, and he didn't let his team down. He took that so calmly. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves back into contention. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Aston Villa are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Well played, he saw that coming. Bailey. Aston Villa are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Tielemans. Now it's Diaby. Diaby! There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Asensio. Timely intervention. Danilo Pereira. Paris Saint-Germain need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Saniolo looking to get on the end of this. Wonderful quick feet. Great tackle, he had to get that right. And that will be the final act. Paris Saint-Germain have thrown it away.